Good evening, friends, followers, and channel members. Welcome to, uh, well, a two sector flight. We don't do this very often, uh, if at all, actually. <laughs> but tonight we're going to give you two sectors. We're uh, currently in Edinburgh, heading down to Stansted. We're going to turn it around and then finish the night back here up in, uh, in Edinburgh. So. Each flight should be around an hour's time. We're going to get straight into it because there's lots to do and a schedule to keep. Uh, this is actually a real-world flight as well. I believe this was scheduled to depart about half an hour ago, so anyone on Flight Radar 24 will be able to uh, track the real aircraft. We're obviously going to be behind that. So we've got ATC as, uh, as well, which is nice. Hopefully that'll last for the duration of the evening. It'd be even better, wouldn't it, and uh, help add to the realism. So looking forward to... Uh, yeah. Lots of traffic as well, and immersion. As we can see, the company aircraft behind us, who appears to have hit a divot. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there. Let's get on board, shall we? Uh, so welcome to everyone. Thank you for uh, thank you for joining us. Um, as we have got a lot to do tonight, uh, you'll permit me for just racing through the uh, the setup a little bit. So we've got our aircraft currently in uh, in its turnaround state. We're going to go ahead just check that operational flight plan. Nothing untoward here. I've already been through and uh, checked most of it, but just so you guys can see as well, plug fuel is uh, 3.7. No real reason to load any extra fuel tonight. Um, apart from the normal APU uh, running time, etc. But the weather tonight down to Stansted looks, uh, looks pretty good, as you can see from the minimums as well. Uh, the forecast down in Stansted is also very good. Uh, if I've just gone past that, where is it? Uh, oh, there we go. So there's a slight chance of that visibility dropping uh, as the evening goes on, but that shouldn't concern us. It's still well above minimums for uh, for Cat 1. So let's uh, go ahead, just check the uh, Sigma. You can see little bit of uh, weather lower uh, lower down at the at the top there but it's um, helped us tonight by a jet stream pushing us down again no real concerns for us in terms of loads of extra fuel needed just going to turn Vaxim off for a moment otherwise they're going to keep interrupting us until we want them, of course. So yeah, four tons of fuel should be uh, should be plenty this evening. Let's go ahead and get that uh, loaded up. So they're going to take 30 seconds as we're quite close to four tons. Anyway, APU bleed is already on. As I said, the aircraft is in its turnaround state, so we can go ahead straight away and start getting the uh, the passengers boarding using our self-loading cargo as per uh, as per usual. It's going to be nice to do a turnaround as well. We don't do that too often, do we? So we've got the 80s here as well, which we'll just have a quick listen to. Advise aircraft type on first contact. Edinburgh information Romeo. Time 1820 Zulu. Runway in use 24. Transition level flight level. Okay, so we're uh, on 1014. Information Romeo is current 1014. 1014. Everything down here set to where it should be. And the passengers are uh, are boarding. We've got uh, put the constraints on. Our initial climb out today should be six thousand feet. And let's go ahead and look at setting up the box. So I've already gone ahead and just done this a little bit. In fact, I was a little delayed in starting. For some reason, none of the flight plan would uh, load in, so I had to do it manually, which uh, doesn't happen uh, too often, thankfully. Old-fashioned way, no uh, no A cars uh, uplink. So there we go, cost index fate, flight level 390. Uh, the flight plan is all loaded. We're on the Gozum 1 Charlie departure. Let's go ahead and just check all of those waypoints, match up uh, what we would expect to see. If I can bring the right chart up. There it is. Let's just shorten that a bit. Uh, so we've got 
at Uniform, Whiskey, and then uh, 10 miles out, 14 miles out, Mavix, Gozam, and then we're off to uh, Phoenix. Uh, those initial climbs are all 6,000 feet. Their constraint's quite far out, so ATC will probably give us a higher climb a little bit later on. We'll need to go up and climb for that, of course. And then the arrival is uh, expected runway 22, I think it is. Operational flight plan is pinned in the chat in YouTube. Yeah, well, ILS 22 on the Listo, uh, Listo 1 Lima. So we'll have a little look at that en route. That sounds like absolute chaos on the approach, so that could be, uh, that could be interesting. Uh, nothing that I need to fill out in uh, in the Radnav page. We could put Uniform Whiskey in there uh, I if we wish. That was the uh, NDB associated with uh, with Edinburgh. Um, so Uniform Whiskey, no VORs here. Wondering how many Uniform Whiskies there are in the world. Only two. Look at that. Well, it'll be the one five miles away, won't it? Okay, on to the init B page. So let's just get that uh, operational flight plan back up. I'm aware I've not even welcomed you guys on board tonight. Because we're doing two sectors, I just need to get us uh, up and running. Uh, but welcome everyone on board. Hope everyone's... Uh, Hope everyone's having a good uh, good Wednesday. Uh, Danny's final 390 uh, a bit high. Well, well, do you know what? I wondered that. And Simbrief is usually pretty good uh, in UK airspace. So if we can't get clearance for flight 390, then uh, we'll obviously fly it a little bit a uh, little bit lower. Uh, so zero fuel weight is 58.5. Load in a standard. CFG of 30. That trip wind on the way down is a nice tailwind of 35. Fuel planning 2.9 and we should have 4 tons on board. Which is all nice and loaded up. Takeoff weight then 62.3. Let's have a look then and uh, have a look see what our performance is going to be. So let's bring SimSmart up. Here it is. Now there is a potential for an intersection departure here. I've never done it but I could always ask uh, again just saves us a little bit of time. We could potentially do an intersection departure from Charlie if uh, traffic would uh, would permit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the uh, distance for uh, for that. Finnish Simpire, thank you so much for your five dollar forty four uh, donation. Really kind of you, Finnish. I hope you're uh, hope you're going to be with us for uh, for the evening and uh, enjoy our two flights that we have uh, have scheduled for uh, for tonight. Very kind of you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we could do intersection Charlie because we're not that heavy tonight. So that would mean uh, a takeoff run of one eight. Eight nine meters instead of full length. So let's go ahead and, uh, and try that out. So we are in Edinburgh, of course, Echo Golf Papa Hotel. Runway two four. We'll grab the Meta. Anti ice will be off tonight. Takeoff weight. Let's be conservative. Sixty two and a half. CFG will be forward. Takeoff thrust flex. Config one packs off and use the full runway. No, let's pop in. What was it? One eight eight nine and see if uh, that will work. Uh, it will actually low flex and uh, and we can get away with that takeoff uh, run. We could be even be a little bit more uh, on the safe side. We could use config two for for that. There we go. Let's use config two tonight, and um, we'll plan for a an intersection departure. If not, we can use uh, obviously full length. Uh, in fact, you know what? In case we do use full length, I am going to stick with config one. So let's pop all of this in and uh, check v one one two seven. Vr is one three zero. V two. One, three, four. Transition altitude here is six thousand. Truth reduction acceleration is one four two four. One four two four. 
and engine out is also 1424. We're going flaps 1 and a flex of 59. And uh, we've got uh, S speed 147, S speed 190, and clean is uh, 210. Below the maximum takeoff weight as well. Alright, happy with all the uh, performance. I'm going to contact ATC and um, we'll then do a. Uh, we'll then do a takeoff brief once we've spoken to them and got our clearance. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, taxi to stand 211 via Alpha Lima Mike Sierra. And the neighbor of ground. Good evening. Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey Type A320 Neo. Stand 11. Requesting IFR clearance as filed to Stansted. We have information, Romeo. Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey. Good evening. Edinburgh Ground, you're clear to London Stansted on the Gotham 1 Charlie departure. Squawk 4223. Cleared on the Gotham 1 Charlie departure. Squawk 4223 for Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey. Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey, be back correct. So that's the uh, departure we planned. Edinburgh uh, Ground, our initial climb will be 6,000 feet. OK, we'll just come off ground for the moment while we do our takeoff brief. So weather here in Stansted is uh, is rather nice. A few build-ups, but they're not going to cause us any uh, any con great concern. Our takeoff weight is below maximum landing weight, so we're going to get back in here should we, uh, should we have a problem. And... Um, the aircraft is the experimental version of the A32NX from Fly-by-Wire. No no times to be aware of, threats to be aware of here at Edinburgh. A little bit, um, little bit busy. Um, other than that, minimum safe altitude. I'll just bring the chart then you can see. Other than that, minimum safe altitude as we've departed and passed uh, the Edinburgh NDB does increase to 3,900 feet. So in terms of terrain, just need to be uh, need, need to be aware of that. But shouldn't uh, shouldn't be an issue for us this evening unless, of course, something went wrong. If something did go wrong, then uh, our emergency uh, engine out procedure has us turning away from that anyway but I'll brief that in a little moment so let's talk about how we're going to do the uh, pushback and taxi so as I've just said to ATC we're currently at stand 11 so we'll push back presumably on Foxtrot facing north east from there Foxtrot and uh, on to Alpha as I said we're going to advise him that we can take Charlie if not it will be all the way to uh, the end where we'll take uh, Delta uh, Delta One. Only other threat I can think of for this flight is uh, I've been up since uh, 6 a.m. this morning after uh, not getting to bed till very late. Thank you, kids. God bless the school holidays. Have a look at the departure. No speed restrictions. Should be a nice straight out departure. Autopilot will take care of that. We should hopefully have some uh, some nice views as uh, as well. Uh, Leo Pence, thank you so, so much for your uh, very kind super chat. Really generous of you. Uh, it says, hope you have a nice day. Leo, I uh, straight back at you. I hope you're going to enjoy the flight with us this evening down to, uh, down to London and back. It's not really London, is it? London Stansted. They just put London in the name because it sounds better. It's nowhere near London. Um, right, so that's... Uh, that's all done. Last few uh, last few passengers are uh, are remaining. I'm going to turn the tablet off because that does save on the frame rates. Uh, so Q and H one zero one four. Just double check that's correct. In which case uh, it is. The uh, refueling has um, all completed. So let's go ahead get those fuel pumps 
back on. If you was running, external power can be disconnected. And get the seatbelt signs on as well. Uh, so just while I'm waiting for those last couple of passengers, a big welcome to everyone on board this evening. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Sorry I've not greeted you all personally, but uh, lots to do on this uh, this flight. Gavin, all the passengers are on board and we're ready to go. I'll bring you a cup of tea after we've taken off. That's great, thank you. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to get a chance to drink a cup of tea on this uh, this flight. Right, let's do the uh, before start checklist, shall we? Just a couple of things I want to check there, make sure that's all balanced and uh, fine. Excellent. Okay, so copy preparation is completed our signs are on and auto it is three and a half green fuel quantity is four turns balanced fmgc set altimeter is 1014 110 feet let's go ahead and grow the uh, get the ground crew and then uh, we'll tell the atc we're ready for our departure just before we do that let's do our emergency brief as well so uh standard airbus emergency brief here uh in edinburgh if anything goes wrong after uh, V1 and we have an engine out, then our engine out procedure is non-standard. So at um, 8 miles from the India, India Tango Hotel, uh, which is, I believe, that is the ILS uh, here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so that's the ILS here, which means, um, if it's not already, I'm just going to add that into the uh, the RadNav page. Uh, yeah, India, India Tango Hotel, that's already in, so we'll... Um <coughs> Get the Alice push button on. So, that uh, engine out procedure. Eight miles from the ILS DME, we make a right hand turn, max speed of 230 knots to the Edinburgh NDB holding point. Uh, so, we can go ahead as well and, uh, and add that to our uh, fixes page. Ordinarily, what you'll see. Um, pilots do is if the secondary flight plan works then they will pop this procedure into the secondary flight plan so then if anything does go wrong they can activate the secondary flight plan and it's all there for them they're not having to do it manually but unfortunately the secondary flight plan at the moment in the fly-by-wire doesn't work yet I'm sure they'll uh, I'm sure they'll sort it it's very soon uh, so that radial is 061 because we want the reciprocal, of course, on the uh, navigation display. There we go. And it's the left turns. Right, let's get the uh, the ground crew, shall we? It's going to be very dark soon. Uh, Andy, you've been a member for two months. Thank you so much for your uh, continued support of the channel during that time. Let's pre-plan our push. Always takes a little bit longer this to load at custom airports. A bit more scenery to uh, to load, isn't it? Kind of glad we've got the pushback planner for uh, a pushback such as this. Means I don't have to concentrate on it. Okay, clear, 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 clear,
then we can make sure we can be marked on time. The cabin crew will shortly be providing their safety demonstration video, so it would be appreciated if you could please release them. parking brake attention. A special welcome on board to our East Jetson pilot members, and if you wish to inquire about becoming a member, please contact a member of the please cabin release crew. parking brake. Our East Jetson pilot members are of course entitled to free drinks throughout the flight. Thanks very much, and we'll give you an update once we are airborne. Please release parking brake. Okay, let's contact ground and uh, get our clearance. Just check that ground frequency. Uh, one two one seven five. Yeah, so that is the one on the uh, on the standby. So, Fox Trot Bravo, please release parking Charlie, stand by. I've just got another aircraft coming. Uh, so you just please sound a little break. bit busy at the moment. I don't want to interrupt him while he's working on something. And ground easy, 91 kilo whiskey, stand 11, we're ready for push and start. And just for information, we can take intersection Charlie for departure. Mike Lima. Oh, blocked. Yeah, yeah Edinburgh ground, somebody stepped all over your transmission. Please I didn't get any of it. Okay, I'll try again. Oscar, Bravo, Charlie, taxi. That was me, Lima I'm sorry. Sierra, Mike break. Lima. Sierra Mike Lima to Old Point Lima 1 for Foxtrot Bravo Charlie. And Edinburgh Ground Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey Stand 11 is ready for push and start. And just for information, we can take into section Charlie departure. Easy nine one kilo whiskey standby. I've just got another aircraft pushing behind you. I'm not sure if he's going to have enough room. We'll go nine one kilo whiskey. Has the uh, ground crew given up telling me to please release the parking brake? Oh, nice! Don't know what that little uh, Learjet Cessna jet is. Nice to see. Ground there appears to be an Austrian uh, aircraft who's materialised right where I need to push. <laughs> Easy eight zero eight. Yeah, I see that. Um, I can try and text him if you want. Um, see if he can move along. Sounds like he's chaos. Not actually in a stand at all. No, he's uh, <laughs> kind of right behind you. And he, he's like blocked you in. Oh no, come on, we've got a schedule to keep. Deputy number one on all Twitch. Stations, all stations, Edinburgh information now. Sierra QNH1014. Thank you for the follow. QNH hasn't changed. Underground, good evening. Speedbird 875, stand 15, type A320 Neo. With information, Sierra, question IFR clears to Catwick. Speedbird 875, you're clear to Catwick. Standby. I've got uh, Stansted for you. Uh, yeah, I Dark, apologies. you're going to Stansted. You're not going to Gatwick, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 875, that's what I've gone mad. You're clear to London Stansted on the Gotham 1. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, that's Dark Fury. Why is he going to Gatwick? <laughs> we can't do Gatwick, the PC I'm crashes. Before start a checklist below the line, but we've not got our clearance yet, so just EGA waiting to do that. Eight, um, the Austrian, I'm not sure what happened, he ended up on runway 24 then disappeared. Roger, we're, that's good news. Uh, EZ808 ready for push and start. EZ808, stand 17, push and start approved, face north. Face north, EZ808. Sounds like the ground control has got his work cut out for him tonight.
<laughs> oh, Doug Fury, at least your PC can handle Gatwick. <laughs> Brian, your PC always has a 30 second pause about 20 miles from Gatwick. Yeah, we had that the other night, do you remember? It was a lot longer than 30 seconds, or so it, uh, so it sounded like, that's for sure. If this Ryanair pushes back before me, I'll be annoyed. Get your taxi light off. You're flashing the terminal. Well, I'm glad we loaded that extra fuel. Although the APU still refuses to burn any fuel. It's Greta approved. What's good, bravo, Charlie? I think you've just taken the wrong turn in. You're holding mic one. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologise for the delay. Edinburgh has never seen yeah, quite so much great. traffic. Uh, Fox Broad, Bravo, Charlie. Looks like I'm holding at mic one, and that was the direction. Okay, I uh, had you at Lima one, but not a problem. Um, if you can. Barry, do you not like our east delivery? Uh, and then first right onto Charlie and hold Charlie It's beautiful. One. Okay, uh, my fault. Okay, right on Alpha and. The if you turn left onto Alpha and then first right onto Charlie, hold Charlie 1. Uh, Roger. Left I wanted to take off in the daytime Alpha, as well. Right on Charlie, Charlie 1. This rate, I'm not going to get time for the returning. I'll apologise now if that uh, fails to materialise. Is it the phone for the in Texas? Easy two two five taxi hold point alpha one five. Is that this easy jet maybe? Taxi holding point alpha one five. Easy two two five. Speedbird eight seven five request push and start. Speedbird eight seven five push and start approved face north. Push back approved face north. Speedbird eight seven five. Dark, how have you got out before me? Goodness me. Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey after the A320 passes behind. Stand 11, push and start proof, face east. Push and start proof, face east, and wait for company traffic behind. Easy 91 Kilo Whiskey. We're going to have to have a quick look. Oscar Bravo. That'll do. Charlie, no further. So we cleared for a uh, push. Have a great flight. Goodbye. Beacon light, acupressure, and transponder. Before start, checklist below the line. Windows and doors are closed and armed. Beacon light is on, mobile phone is on silent, and altimeter is 1014. Parking brake released. Easy two two five. Engine mode to ignition and starting engine one. Blake nine seven three, thank you for the follow on Twitch. Really appreciate that. We're slowly building up the Twitch audience as well, which is uh, really kind of you guys. Our frame rate should improve a little bit as well as we get away from Edinburgh. There's a lot of traffic here. And it's quite a detailed airport. Ladies and gentlemen, we now ask for your attention while we take you through the safety procedures on this aircraft. A safety card is in your seat pocket showing the exit routes, oxygen masks, life jackets and brace position that you must adopt if you hear brace brace. There are two emergency exits at the rear, four in the middle, and two at the front of the cabin. Floor lighting will guide you to an exit. Please be aware that your nearest exit may be behind you. In an emergency, leave all cabin baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted, and released as shown. It must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on, and we recommend that you keep it fastened at all times. 
If the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and the mouth. Point golf one. Hold in place bird. with the strap. Um, just Pull on push each back side to adjust. Position. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take the life jacket from under your seat. Put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist. Roger. Click together. Easy two two five. No further ATC. Monitor Unicom one two two. Decimal eight. Have a great flight. Goodbye. Thank you and goodbye. When outside, in the plane, pull in the toggle. If it fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into the tube. There is a light and whistle for attracting attention. We also carry flotation aids for children. Your tray table must now be stowed and rest down. Window blinds open. Deep bird 875 taxi hold point Delta 1 runway 24 via Mike and Alpha. Okay, so we're waiting for engine number two. Holding point Delta 1 via Mike and Alpha. Can we are actually uh, facing Lima? Can we go down Lima Alpha? It's Deep bird 875. Speedbird 875, yeah, not a problem at all. If it's easier for you, Lima Alpha, whole point Delta 1, runway 24. So I think that's Dark Fury. The Speedbird over there. Alpha, thank you, Asian Got some traffic coming in. No landing lights, though. Is that traffic coming in or is that a light? Could be a light. Whole point Mike 1 via Golf for Mike. Mike 1 via Golf for Mike, ETH Okay, so engine mode selector to uh, normal. APU bleed off, anti ice not required. Spoilers, rudder, flaps one, and set the trim. Do a flight control check. Full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, rudder, full right, rudder, full left, and neutral. After start checklist, anti ice is off, eco status is checked, pitch trim is 25.3, rudder is zero. Okay, let's uh, get our clearance. Right, I want to one one with IFR clearance to Oslo Garden, Two stations at once, Austrian 150, partial message. Austrian 150, good evening, I request IFR clearance to Vienna. Austria 5150, clear to Vienna on Italia 6, Charlie, departure, Squawk 5013. Squawking 5013, cleared for the uh, Tango Lima Alpha 6, uh, Charlie, departure route, Osman Station. Austria 150, back, correct. And easy now, we'll kill the whiskey, it's ready for taxi, and uh, we can take Charlie if uh, if that's better for you. SMLA, have a great flight, goodbye. Blocked. Easy 808, uh, sorry about that, I left you holding. Continue taxi, hold point, Delta 1, runway 24 via Mike and Alpha. Uh, continue taxi, Delta 1, and I believe the speedbird was booked, transmission was blocked. We just don't talk, we're blocking everything. Ryder 1341, request IFR to uh, Oslo Gardenmergen. Ryanair 1341, don't seem to have a flight plan, could you follow one? Sorry about that, give me a minute. An easy 91 kilo whiskey, we're ready for taxi and we can take in section Charlie if that helps. Easy nine one kilo whiskey taxi hold point Charlie one via Foxtrot and Alpha. Hold point Charlie one via Foxtrot and Alpha for easy nine one kilo whiskey. Yes, slightly shorter taxi. Okay. No change to the performance. 
Flex is 59. Engine out procedure is non standard. And at uh, 8 miles from the ILS DME, it's right on turn to the Echo Delta November holding point. Departure goes on 1 Charlie. Stop altitude is 6,000. Easy eight zero eight, no further ATC, monitor unicorn one two two. For takeoff checklist, flight the, uh, controls have been uh, checked. Device. Departure briefing is no confirmed. Control. Flaps ending no config one. FMA takeoff data one two seven blue, one three four magenta Ground. climbing up blue, one fd two, six thousand blue, flex fifty nine. Transport is set, Inca memo, takeoff no blue. EFB is stowed. Yep, one two two decimal eight, have a great flight. Uh, sorry about that, the communication was blocked, but we'll go to Unicom, thanks for your service, 675. No problem at all, have a great flight. Ryanair 1341, request IFR to also guard and we're gonna... To where? Ryanair 1341, clear to Oslo, guard and we're on the Tala 6, Charlie departure. Crazy Mana, thank you so much for, uh the resubscription for two months thank you really do appreciate that and east coast canadian a nice looking airport it is perigee's uh, done two really good ones up in scotland here glasgow and edinburgh this is edinburgh of course so we've got traffic coming in we've got traffic waiting we've got traffic rolling where are we going to fit Austria one five zero stand three two push and start proof face north. Oh, is that Oslo? Oh, I'd have just said Oslo. <laughs> Easy nine one kilo whiskey, no further ATC. Monitor Unicorn one two two decimal eight. You have a great flight. Goodbye. Oh, wonderful. Unicorn now. Thanks for the service. Easy nine one kilo whiskey. Right, this could be uh, interesting. End of traffic, easy. Nine one kilo whiskey. Advising, we're holding short. Charlie one for runway two four. Speedbird eight seven five is now clear. Runway two four. So I'm going to assume that's the KLM. There's an aircraft, another company aircraft, um, who I'm going to presume will line up after it. Such a delay getting out here, guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the return flight in. So what I would expect is as soon as this guy's gone past the company aircraft here, I don't know who that is, I don't know if that's one of us or not, um, to line up behind. It would make sense for him to go ahead and do that because he can get on and line up quicker than I can. That looks like a KLM to me. Nice landing, Mr. KLM. Ah, so the uh, the company is lined up two eight, and Edinburgh traffic easy nine one kilo whiskey. We'll line up and wait after the departing company traffic uh, from Charlie One. Uh, Dark, you came in late and you've still got away before me. <laughs> Good old Nick. Swiss Pit, hello. Elliot, hello, how you doing? Flying from Bristol to the Isle of Man. That is a great approach. We did that the other day. So 
So the Kalem's off. He will hopefully go very soon, and we can then get rolling. Edinburgh traffic easy now with Kilo Whiskey behind the departing company on runway 24. We'll line up via Charlie 1 behind. Wait for him to pass before we get all our lights on, it's only fair. We don't want to blind him on his takeoff roll. Before takeoff checklist below the line, cabin is secured, engine mode selector is normal, TCAS TARA, packs are off, anti ice is off. Airport does look really nice, doesn't it? Mitchell, you've been a member for eight months of the channel. Thank you so much for your uh, kind support during that time. Right, we're good to go, I think. Uh, actually, I just need to wait for separation. That aircraft that has just gone. We'll wait till he's out at five miles, and then we'll go. I don't know if he's going to the same destination as us, to be honest with you. Um, if it is, we should give him two minutes. Uh, Keith, did we calculate if we could take Charlie? Yes, we did, yeah. Saved a little bit of time in the taxi. Okay, so that aircraft that took off before is it now five miles out. Should be enough separation. Edinburgh traffic is now one kilo whiskey is now departing runway two four on the goes on one Charlie departure. Okay, start the chrono. Set 50% M1. TJ Gamer, thank you for the sub. And set takeoff thrust. Man flex, SIS and runway. Checked. V1, rotate. Nav. Autopilot one engaged. Climb, and we'll set climb thrust, thrust climb, climb, get one of the packs back on, no ATC, so let's set flight level 200, we're going to go open climb for that, full standard pressure, open climb, flight level 200 blue, get the second pack on. A crazy amount of nice clouds, it's a great time of day to fly isn't it, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, they look beautiful. 2,500. Passing S speed then, let's clean her up. Spoilers disarmed. Looks very orange. Mm. 
might just get a glimpse of the sun during the cruise if it's not too low be behind the uh, uh, below the horizon. Okay, happy to release the uh, cabin crew now. I bet this real flight has already landed. It took off about an hour ago, didn't it? Told you the frame rates would improve as well once we got away from uh, the detailed airport that is Edinburgh. <laughs> Jordan, the wings look like brass. <laughs> now, just that beautiful Easter livery. Oh, th I think we can just see the sun reflecting off it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? How lovely is that? Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your seatbelt fastened while the seatbelt sign is on. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated. Toilets are located at each end of the cabin. Remember that smoking is not permitted at any time. This includes e-cigarettes. It is a graphical marvel, isn't it? How gorgeous and stunning does that look? Uh, Fabrice, we had the uh, the landing system, we had that turned on because of the engine out procedure. Right, passing 10,000 feet then. It's getting a bit brighter now in the fire duct. There comes the sun rising. We'll get the lights off. Uh, let's check our progress. Flight level 390 is uh, fine for us, so let's go ahead and set flight level 390. There we go. Happy to turn those uh, seatbelt signs off as well. Now, normally, if you've got uh, live ATC on, what tends to happen here is you kind of get a bit of a shortcut, and they tell you sort of to go direct to wherever. We're not going to do that tonight, because we've got traffic also on the same departure routing as us, and, uh, well, I mean, that's, that's a Nick move. <laughs> He's not here to defend himself. <laughs> Uh, Elliot, did I go toga from Bristol? No, I went flex from Edinburgh. Uh, Dr. Magic, did I say the sun's rising? Yes, yes, we've climbed up. It looks like the sun's rising again. Hang on, check this out. Oh, man, how's that? What a view. Easily the best time of day in Microsoft Flight Simulator. They've absolutely nailed it, haven't they? The uh, dawn and sunset graphics. Flying Carpet 7, thank you for the t follow. Uh, Roman Can, you wonder why I've left the chrono on? Well, I, um, I leave it on, I mean, you, you set it so that um, you know how long the engines have been running. And then I just leave it running for, uh, from now onwards so we can cross-reference that against the operational flight plan and see how we're doing time-wise. Loving the struts catching the sunlight as we make that turn. Aviator, why is X plane so dark? Um, no idea. <laughs> Christian, that's not a Nick move. <laughs> <laughs> Nick goes straight from the departure airport to the arrival airport. <laughs> no waypoint planning in between. <laughs> uh, Mohammed, do I know everything about the A320? God, no. 
Pilots don't even know everything about the A320. If you want to know everything about the A320, ask an engineer. Uh, Elliot, you mean when I flew from Bristol to the Isle of Man? Ah, oh, right. Oh, I honestly can't remember. I would have gone with whatever uh, SimSmart told us to go with. Uh, we'd have tried flex, always try flex. If we were too heavy, then we'd have increased the config or we'd have ended up going toga. Starting to feel my office warm up now as the GPU kicks out the heat. What temperature are we at? In fact, I've recently just moved my PC away from uh, it was underneath the desk, which is fine, um, but it was really pressed up in the corner, and I thought it's getting a bit too hot, so I've just moved it out, and it's it's doing better. It's now between 84 and 86. It was peaking into the 90s, which well, that's no good. Hey, Jayhog, how you doing? Uh, Mark Williams, good evening to you. I'm very well, thank you. Glad you could be here. Um, Jayhog asks a good question. Is London Control on uh, line? I think... Uh, do you know what? I don't know if they are. It depends where London Control South is covering. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Dark Hero, did DHL arrive? Not today. Were they meant to? Land Lakes Flex Friday. <laughs> What's Wednesday then? Wing it Wednesday. <laughs> Just pick one. Loving the higher clouds and that orange glow that they give. Uh, Dave, you'll be honest, when the PC runs Microsoft Flight Simulator, you don't need heating on in the house. No, absolutely not. It's uh, it's quite warm. Uh, Mark, you've just downloaded the free scenery for Stansted. It's excellent, but it's dark. Oh, I don't like dark scenery. So, just whilst we're climbing then, I'm going to have a quick look and see how the approach is coded. So we're going to be on the Listo... Is it Listo 1 Lima? Our nav arrival, I think? Just check all these. Uh, Gav! Hey, mate! Good... I was going to say good evening. Good morning to you, Gav. Thank you so much for your very kind five Australian dollar tip. Uh, great supporter of the channel is Gav. Good morning to you for a Thursday. Sounds so strange saying that as we're still here on a Wednesday evening. But I do really appreciate that. Okay, so let's just have a look at these. We've got uh, rugby needs to be at 20,000 feet. Um, at Finma Flight level 180. Sorry, correction, flight level 150. Yeah. Then at Bombo, we have got speed restriction 250 knots. Then that's straight to Barkway. And then it has this little holding pattern almost built into this approach, which, um, which is all right but probably not needed, 
and I don't think I've ever flown the full procedure. I leave it in for the moment, but chances are we'll go uh, from Barkway direct to um, direct to bring ourselves in on the ILS. If there's no ATC, we'll be vectoring ourselves in, of course. What I'm going to do is at uh, the Barkway VOR. I'm just going to make sure we've got a constraint there. Of I'm going to call it six thousand feet because you can see it's after where you'd be at seven thousand. So I'm going to pop that in, hard code that in at six thousand feet. And we'll leave Buster and Laurel in for the moment. I'm also going to just check that what this looks like on plan mode. There we go. There you can see it. So yeah, the actual procedure has you flying to the Barkway VOR, then spinning it around for traffic separation, and then coming back in. However, you'd normally just get picked off of this and then vectored in onto the ILS. So... That's, uh, that's the plan. We'll get to our top of climb and then we shall do an arrival briefing. Uh, Evitable, can I uh, do a real-world flight from Copenhagen? We've done several from Copenhagen in the past. In fact, we went through a period we've just been in Scandinavia for a lot of time. Um, not been there quite so much. We were in there over the winter, weren't we? It was just uh, it was just fun. East Coast Canadian, yeah, I'm on the experimental build, my friend. Uh, Christian, the stars telling us to bust a 220 knots constraint. Uh, Mohammed, can I give you tips still on the A320? Uh, yeah, anything you want to know? Dino Squad says, love the channel, thank you. Do you? Or uh, do you encounter stutters within the sim? If not, is there any way to combat kit? Fairly high in rig, but you still need to struggle. I don't think you're the only one, Dino Squad. It's, um, it is a beast. Uh, Roy Van Gan, when you enter a hold and leave it later, how do you leave the hold? Can you explain that? Thanks for the chrono answer. Uh, the easiest way to leave a hold, you can either exit immediately, there's normally a little, um, I forget which line side key it is, I think it might be this one up here, uh, to wherever you are on the flight plan that uh, tells you to exit the hold uh, or you can just go direct to the next fix. Uh, Mohammed, how complex is the fly-by-wire 320? I guess it's as complicated as... Uh, it, it's more complicated than the standard because it's more realistic. The fly-by-wire team do an amazing job of making it as realistic as possible. So let me just work out where I want my top of descent to be. If I want to be uh, flight level 200 at Rugby, then I'm going all the way up to that, aren't we? Flight level 390. Uh, so we're going to need to lose 19,000 feet. We've got a tailwind as well. I reckon around 70 miles away from Rugby will uh, work. So let's pop that in on our uh, fixes page. And I'm going to just make sure I've spelt that correctly, actually. R-O-G-B-I. 70 miles. Let's check what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. which isn't a million miles away from the uh, aircraft calculator top of descent point. And I did say mine was a little bit conservative, so that's, uh, that's all right. Three thousand feet to go over the top of the climb. Typical flight, this, where you spend around two minutes at your uh, cruising altitude.
So I'm going to get to the cruising altitude, and just before we do that, I'm now just doing a weather request so we can see what's happening down at uh, Stansted. Also go and grab some Birmingham weather, just in case. Let you guys enjoy the view for a minute while I just work out how I'm going to uh, plan this approach and then we shall do a uh, an arrival brief. Uh, Fabrice, on the ground is it possible to get external power off not available if there is no external power? Because on your 320N it is always available even if there's no GPU. Okay, so you got to remember that the GPU is just a uh, the, the physical GPU that you see in the sim that has absolutely no bearing on whether you have external power available to you or not. Um, I think what does matter is if the car, pa uh, car park, <laughs> if the aircraft's parking stand is, uh, is big enough for your aircraft. So tonight's arrival is going to be a uh, an ILS approach, runway two two. And it has quite a low platform altitude as well, 2,500 feet. Okay, let's uh, just jump back into the flight deck, see how we're doing. There we are, we're now at our cruising altitude. Let's put uh, TCAS to below. And already then, we're about ready to start doing our, uh, our arrival brief in, uh, in a moment. Okay then gang, let's do our arrival brief. So, Listo 1 Lima is our arrival. We've already quickly worked out where our top of descent is going to be to make sure we hit flight level 200 via uh, ro at Rugby. From there we can continue the profile all the way down and I've entered into the box that I want to be at uh, 6,000 feet here at the Barkway VOR. Now, the uh, the full uh, the full procedure would have us fly from Barkway up to Buster and then uh, back down to Laurel. There's a max speed here as well as you can see, 220 knots. That's going to be fine. By the time we get to Barkway I want to be at 6,000 feet because that is if I don't intend on making this full loop. If I do intend on making this full loop 
I'm still going to be 6,000 feet here, but I can't get down to 6,000 feet. I need to get down to flight level 70 before I can get down to uh, to 6,000 feet here at Barkway. Either way, 6,000 here at Barkway, whether we're doing the loop or not. I also want to be a green dot by the time I get to Barkway. On leaving Barkway, we're going to start configuring because we're going to come straight out from Barkway. We're going to vector ourselves in. Uh, nav mode actually looks okay uh, for this, but we just need to be aware for other traffic as well. If we've got traffic already coming down, we'll, um, we'll probably pull heading, just fly the downwing track, wait for that traffic to bypass us, and then we'll come in and uh, get down, headed towards the platform altitude, two and a half thousand feet. So we'll be heading down to two and a half thousand feet as we leave Barkway, flaps one. We'll see the glide slope starting to meet us as we move away. We'll pull flaps two at that point, one eight zero knots, and then come in and land on uh, runway two two. After landing on two two, we're going to vacate uh, most likely on either November Romeo or Lima Romeo. From there, we're going to uh, contact ground if ground's online. If not, we'll then taxi via uh, taxi via Juliet all the way to uh, to the apron. Mr. Approach. Let's just talk about the Mr. Approach. Uh, so the Mr. Approach has us flying out on uh, on runway track until we reach 3,000 feet, and at 3.1 miles ILS DME, we turn right onto the. Three, uh, sorry, the one, the seven three radial inbound to uh, the Barkway, and then we can enter the hold again. Now, I am just going to um, pop that on our fixes page as well, so we'll have that on the navigation display, which you'll uh, see in a moment. That radial one seven three. Okay, let's jump back into the flight deck. Okay, there we go. Got that company message, so let's go ahead and enter the weather into the performance page. So a standstead, what do we have? Um, winds 260 at 6. Temperature is 15. That's warm. Q&H Take full advantage of your tax-free allowances today and make some amazing savings with our boutique range. In your in-flight brochure, you'll find details of our award-winning selection of gifts, most with massive discounts, some of which are exclusive to you as an EasyJet customer. Make the most of your opportunity to shop and save from the comfort of your seat. If you'd like to see any products, have any questions, or would like to make great savings, then just ask us as we join you in the cabin shortly. Very little difference in the uh, top of descent markers that we've uh, put here. About 20 miles, something like that. We can see traffic in front of us has uh, just started their descent. Which, if they are flying on the same flight plan as us and got everything set up the same, <laughs> they started bang on the uh, the top of descent marker there at uh, at Listo.
So has anyone managed to find out where the real flight is? Said it can't be too far away. It's probably on the return leg by now, actually. I'm just happy to have a call sign that is not a tongue twister tonight. Okay, so we're going to get down to flight level 200. And I'm going to pop this in managed descent for that as well. Mac does 200 blue. Um, Cliff, do I let the new sounds that the have added for that the Flyby Wire team have added? Oh, uh, Boris, I don't know how he does it, but Boris, the sound guy at uh, Flyby Wire, he's, uh, he's amazing. The sounds are, uh, yeah, they're, they're stunning. They, they really are. Have we got some ATC? We do indeed, 1271, nice. London Control, good evening, easy 91 kilo whiskey, passing flight level 366 for flight level 200. Send flight level 150, speed 270, easy, 91 kilo whiskey. Should actually have asked him. He doesn't want 270 knots right at the moment, does he? Because we're far too high for that. Open descent, 150 blue. London Control has got a lot of aircraft on his scopes. So just uh, concentrating on ATC at the moment. Sounds busy. We're now in uh, open descent and flight level 150. Is it 
Speed 270, that's descend fallible 150. And just keeping an eye on our uh, track mileage to go. We've got 128 track miles to go. Nicely below profile for that. Descend fallible 100. Descend flat level 100, speed 875. Speed 911, direct saber. And I've also just popped in uh, on the progress page. Stansted, 2-2 two -two threshold. So we uh, we know roughly how far we are away. Of course, Wednesdays is where they do uh, midweek madness at. Gatwick, isn't it? So, lots of ATC normal. We'll just get London Control South on the standby in case we need that. I'm not sure what you're doing there, but it's unfathomable 140. Just looking at our profile here, we've got about 75 miles to go. We're at uh, flight level 260. I'd call us slightly above the profile. As we do need to slow down as well, so we may just throw some speed brakes out for a few miles. Just get us back under that profile. Uh, Rick Gordon, easy 91 kilo whiskey landed at uh, 8:30. Was that local time? Feline two one zero three direct saber. I saw Feline two one zero three. Easy two two five descend fallible one one zero speed two five zero dots. Easy two two five descend fallible one one zero speed two five zero dots. Uh, Andy, it amazes you the stuff that ATC guys do. It melts your brain listening to them, let alone thinking Easy about controlling. Where's EasyJet 225 gone? Is he in the bathroom? Easy 225 London! <laughs> well, <mate. laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Rocky Jet Project, oh thank you so much for your $4.99 donation uh, and compliment saying you're the for your favourite content creator for Flight Sim. Rocky, thank you so much. Really, really kind of you to say so. Um, hope you're enjoying the live flight this evening. Getting ourselves slowly back on a nice profile now. But yeah, Rocky Jet, really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm uh, happy with the profile now. Pop those speed brakes away for the time being. Right, okay. Easy four five four, disregard by 
Uh, Avid, you were easy two two five. What were you doing? You've just given the ATC guy a heart attack. Uh, Numa, it sounds like you're using the stable version of the fly-by-wire. Try the dev or the experimental version. I'm expecting a further clearance in a minute. We better make sure we don't miss it. 250 knots, easy 91 kilo whiskey. Slowing us down for spacing now, coming into Stansted. Who in the chat just mentioned a toilet break? I now need the loo. I didn't need the loo until you just mentioned it. Oh God, answer him. Please answer him. This guy's great. Zero down to <laughs> Leonid, it's the, it's the experimental version I'm flying right now. So, yes, yeah. Fly level 100, easy 91 kilo whiskey. Molar 4. Under control, easy 100 blue. Molar 4. Mola 4, is he a dentist? Okay, as we're already at 250 knots, I've just activated the approach phase, so that's done. Uh, oh, Count Dukula, no. ATC is well within their rights to get angry if people don't answer him or read back the correct instructions. Uh, Ryan, can't you enter the hold so we can hear him go even madder? <laughs> Is he just racking away on his keyboard?
I'm not saying anything, guys. I'm just listening. Over to Heathrow, 119725. Heathrow, thanks for your service. Over to Heathrow. Bye-bye, Easy 454, climb now, level 120. Climb 120, Easy 225, descent to altitude 4,000 feet. Oh my god, Easy 225 has gone AWOL again. Chubbuck 274, load of control, hello, Disic 1 Golf arrival. Contact Disic. FM. Disic 1 Golf. Easy 2738, load of control, 129 of 45. One nine seven two five. Thank you. Easy business seven three. Two eight seven five. Flight one eight five. Carlos from way two two. Two eight seven five. Turn right heading one eight zero degrees. Carlos two two. Turn right one eight zero. Carlos two two. Eight eight seven five. B nine two one zero three. Descend fallible one one zero. Contact Heath at Vector one one nine. Decibel seven two five. Ten thousand feet. One 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 zero. Um one one nine. Seven two five. Good night. Two one zero three. Good night. Speed two two five. Speed one eight zero knots. Speed out star. Easy nine one kilo whiskey. Flight heading zero eight zero degrees. Zero eight zero for easy nine one kilo whiskey. Mola forward. Don't need to be late. You know, cocky with me. I've got a very busy sector. Usually the call made in the day. Cut up lot of control. One two nine. Decibel four two five. Bye bye. And he's out of there. Mola four. <laughs> easy one six eight, climb now, follow for one eight zero. Easy one eight zero, easy one seven two. Easy two two five, left zero four five. Easy two two five, left heading zero four zero degrees. When do we dare ask him if we can descend lower? Is eight one zero descend flight level two hundred. Two hundred easy eight one zero. We've got a track mileage of around thirty six miles to run. Mola four London. Right, the full path message. Mola four contact London one two nine four two five. One two nine four two five bye bye. Bye. <laughs> this guy's a legend. I mean, you've got to be uh, got to be fair to the controller. He's got a heck of a lot of traffic, bringing them all in different airports on his own. He's acting as tower sector controller, approach controller for some of these airports. Easy four five four, climb now, level two hundred. Oh, that was your engine, 454. Easy 225, clear, that's 2 Okay. I may get yelled at here, but I need to get down lower. We're 30 miles away. Easy 808, left 045. Left 045, easy 808. Easy 91 kilo risk, I expect further descent. A uh, unicorn, easy 98, no one moves. Easy 808, speed 180 dot. 180, easy 808. Easy 91 kilo whiskey descent to altitude 4000 feet, QH standard 1019. Down 4000 feet, QH 1019 for easy 91 kilo whiskey. Under control, Tom Jet 69 with you, passing flight level 11. Uh, over descent, 4000 blue. Tom Jet 69, load of control. Uh, Anthony, I can't turn them up anymore at the moment, I'm afraid. Hopefully you can hear him okay. Easy six two five, contact lunch, sorry, answer down one two five seven five zero. Shut 
Travel 274, descend fallible 150, speed 290, that's for greater. 150290, greater, Shamrock 274. Is 8100, turn left, and again, 125, speed 270, that's for left. I think, uh, to be fair to the uh, ATC, he's only getting annoyed and stressed out when aircraft aren't doing what they should be doing or answering calls, which I can kind of understand. Easy 225, you're established. I didn't hear you tell me. Um, I'm turning right now. 225, turn left and in 175, clear left runway 22. 175, clear left, 22. Easy 808, turn right and in 145. Right, 145, easy 808. Uh, Ribo, you've been in the ops room of Maastricht yesterday. It's really impressive how they work. It's very, very calm, isn't it? Now one kilo whiskey turn left heading 055 speed 220 knots. Left 055 speed 220 knots for easy now one kilo whiskey. One tango bravo, you with me? Easy 225 localizer establish. Easy 225, Roger. Shabbat 274, contact all in control, 129.425, bye bye. London 129.425, Shamrock 274, cheers, bye. Bye. Easy 810, direct Kidley. Bye, direct Kidley, Easy 810. Easy 810, continue descend, flight level 150. And descend, flight level 150, Easy 810. Easy 225, full establish. Easy 225, Roger. Download control, good evening, Eurotrans 17 Hotel, 360 inbound. So he wanted us at speed 220, not. Bye -bye. Maximum 220, which is why we're still in selected speed for the heading. Right, 175 down to 2500, cleared on the ILS 22. Easy 91 kilo whiskey, speed 180 knots. 180 knots, easy 91 kilo whiskey. Okay, start configuring. Yeah, Flaps one, one speed checked. Flaps one. one seven hotel. Hello, London Control. Um, Roger, it's the Logan Two Hotel arrival. When you're ready to send, available two five zero. Logan Two Hotel, when ready to send, two five zero. You're trans uh, one seven hotel. Now, good evening. Subject six zero nine. Climb now, available three seven zero. Climb available three seven zero. Subject six zero nine. Easy eight one zero. Contact London Control. One two nine four two five. The dash blue right. line here. Easy now, kilo whiskey. Right heading 155. Right heading 155. Easy now, kilo whiskey. Easy 454. Lot of control. 12945. 12945. Easy 455. Easy 225. Close the runway 22. 270 degrees. So this is the extended runway centerline. So I know where the uh, the ILS is. 2875. Stands to ground. 121.725. Decibel 725. Always ground one to one seventy five. Thanks for your service. Good relation, fine. That's the wrong frequency, isn't it? Easy eight eight seven nine with you zero four zero degrees. Uh, flight level one one four one three. Stance of ground is one two one eight. Flight level one seven zero. Easy eight eight seven nine. Thank you. Easy now one kilo whiskey right heading one seven zero degrees. Cross two two. Right, heading 170, cleared ILS runway 22, sure easy now, one kilo whiskey. Please ensure your cabin bag is safely stowed with your laptop in... Subject 609, direct Gasper. Direct Gasper, come to Okay, flaps 2, speed check, flaps 2. You now need to be seated with your seatbelt fastened, ready for landing. Please help us by handing in any rubbish, newspapers or magazines... Easy 168, you're to come see up. The toilet... Easy, you're to come see up, thanks. Lock blue. Easy 8879, Hudson Centre confirmed, flight level 170. Hey, firm. Hey, firm, thank you. There's our runway. Easy 808, clear to land 22, 270 degrees, 4 knots. Clear to land 22, easy 808. 
225, that's sounds the ground, 131 decibel 725. 121 decibel 725, bye bye. Bye. Sonic, good evening, Tarmac 235, flight level 310, direct to uh, keypad. Oh, glad to blue. I would just shallowed off that descent rate as well. Lockstar. And a quick recap when vacating, we are vacating to the left. So that wind coming over from the right, radio altimeter is alive. Uh, Fabrice, I uh, activated the approach mode back at around 12,000 feet. Okay, auto thrust speed. Glide slope start, missed approach altitude set. Six miles out. Landing gear. Spoilers. Flaps three. Speed's checked. Flaps three. London Tower. Uh, London Center. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Lot Bravo 7 Niner. Flight, uh, flight level 2 Niner. Zero. Sorry, who called? And flaps full. Landing checklist. Cabin is secured. Ultra thrust speed. Going at altitude 3000. Set. Uh, Eka memo landing uh, no blue. Lots Bravo 79. Lots of control. Temperature to Gulf arrival. Descend flight level 220. If that traffic doesn't vacate, we go around and then straight ahead 3000 feet, 3.1 miles, turn right. Back along this blue line to Barkway. It will be Toga. Go around flaps. Positive rate. Gear up. FMAs. Thousand feet to go. I have control. Approach stable. Continue. Ignore the puppies. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, 
10, 5. I hate that little freeze that we get. Okay, spoilers are deployed. Reverse green. You have a trans 17 hotel, D7, fire level 160. Uh, D7, level 160, you're a trans 17 hotel. Couldn't quite make that taxiway. Ladies and gentlemen, the cabin crew will shortly be leaving their seats to perform safety-related duties. However, we ask that you remain seated until the fastened seatbelt sign has been switched off. Portable electronic devices for messaging, calls or internet access may now be used. Please make sure that you take all your personal belongings with you, checking in the seat pocket, underneath the seat and in the overhead lockers. Do take care when opening the lockers in case anything falls out. Smoking is not from the jet six zero nine you to come one two two that's the late bye. On behalf of the captain and the crew, it has been our pleasure looking after you today. Our ground crew will help you complete your EasyJet journey. For the latest news, promotions, flight and destination information, check out our official Facebook page, Twitter or EasyJet app. Uh, so we'll go over to ground frequency ourselves. One two one seven two. At least I think that's ground. One two one seven two five. Yeah. Ground easy nine one kilo whiskey vacated runway two two. Easy nine one kilo whiskey started ground good evening. Taxi to stand two four via link November Juliet and Bravo. November Juliet Bravo stand two four easy nine one kilo whiskey. That would be Link um, Lima. Link Lima, thank you. Easy now with Kilowski. Uh, so that's straight ahead just here, second left. Glenn Rees, welcome to uh, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for uh, for joining. Sorry, I'm just getting my bearings as to uh, to where we are at the minute. <laughs> Ignore the Ryanair. But welcome to the channel, uh, Glenn. Really do appreciate that. And of course, if you are on the Discord server, do make sure you join us. Now, I had planned to do another leg after this, but we had one heck of a delay getting out of um, Edinburgh. So I'm not sure we're going to have time to do it, which I'm very sorry about. It would mean we wouldn't finish up until about quarter to 11 p.m. here, local time. Right, just whilst we're on that straight, let's get these uh, turned off. And the TCAS. So this is now on Julia all the way up to Bravo, isn't it? This taxiway needs flattening. What stand are we taking? Stand 2-4. Oh, that's the first one on our right when we get there, so that's nice. Uh, Jordan, you are quite right. That stutter did mess things up, didn't it? I tell you what, we'll not be able to do the flight back tonight, but if you're around in the morning, sort of around... Um, let's see, probably around... Oh, 900 hours Zulu time. We'll do a daytime stream. 
I'll have a daytime stream tomorrow morning. That's if I've not wrecked my aircraft on this pathetic taxiway. Pretty certain the real taxiway isn't this bad. Now, I need to make sure we get the correct right turn. So I think we see the fire station. Is it the fire station and the cargo centre, I think, first? And then the right-hand turn, it'll be the second right. So I believe that is the cargo centre. Well, that would make sense, yeah, with TNT there. And we, do, we are trying to get in loads of... Um, just as many streams as possible at the moment, because I am away next week, so... I want to give you guys a good week this week, because I'm not going to be around next week. But if you are leaving the stream now, please do me a huge favour and hit that like button on your way out. It makes a huge difference to the channel, it really, really does. Okay, so that is stand 15 left. So our stand is the next right. That's the ground, DZ59, Juliet Golf, my check. D59 on Juliet Golf, that's the ground, good evening, read a bit of C5. Roger. That's J-Hog, who's waiting for me to do the return leg, and I've just said I'm not doing it, because we, we, we departed Edinburgh too late. Oh, I'm sorry, J-Hog, at least you got a mic check-in. <laughs> Stand 24. Stand ground easy, 59 Julia Golf, Airbus 320 Neil at stand 33 with information K QNH 1019 requesting IFR clearance to Edinburgh. Julia 59 Julia Golf, Roger, information Kilo is now um, is correct. Okay, to Edinburgh, rather it's Haber 1, Romeo de Palatra, Skork 0746. So this is another one of those amazing freeware series from flightsim.to, London Stansted freeware scenery. It's amazing. Uh, as you can see, there's so much going on. It's uh, it's lovely. We might have a quick tour in a minute. Um, so let me just get that APU bleed on. Happy with everything there. Let's uh, shut down engine one. And engine two. Seatbelt signs can come off. Beacon lights can come off as well. Fuel pumps. And let's now connect the external ground power. And set standby squawking 2000. Lovely. Okay, welcome to, uh, to London Stansted. Yeah, look at this little baggage cart dragging around the Jet 2 baggages. <laughs> Be nice to see one fall out occasionally. So. Huge apologies that the late start and the hold-up in Edinburgh tonight if uh, meant that we we're not going to be able to do the return. If we'd have been able to get out of Edinburgh maybe 20 minutes earlier, um, then, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have done it. But it, it would now just be too late by the time reset and got airborne again. And uh, that would make for a very late night. And school holidays, the kids are going to be up far, far too early. I don't think it helps, does it, in the summer months when... Um, when the sun's shining through the windows nice and bright at five o'clock in the morning and then they think, well, that's time to get up, clearly. Uh, so, 
for those of you who have flown with us tonight, thank you so so much. Really hope you've enjoyed the uh, the flight this uh, this evening. It's uh, it's been good fun and. The ATC on the way in really does help add to the immersion, doesn't it? Loads of um, loads of ATC in traffic tonight. Really, really good fun. Loved every minute of that approach. In case you couldn't tell, I was concentrating. <laughs> didn't want to miss. Uh, didn't want to miss one of their calls. <laughs> so, thank you to everyone who's donated and contributed as well during the stream tonight towards the channel's upkeep. Thank you to Christian for our wonderful Easter delivery. We'll be seeing that again over the next uh, next few days. I look forward to seeing you all again at another uh, at another time. We will have another flight tomorrow morning, so you can set your al alarm clocks for that. That uh, we, yeah, we'll have a daytime stream tomorrow. Looking forward to that one in uh, in the morning. And to the EasyJet Sim Pilot uh, channel members, thank you uh, so so much for your uh, continued support. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon on the next flight and chatting in the discord server thanks very much guys see you all again tomorrow bye bye